Caesars already owns 20% of William Hill. What price gets this deal done? Uh, well, I think the, the, the bid price is a, uh, is a good deal for Caesars, less so for, a, uh, for, for William Hill. I think it's a, uh, the entire U.S. business combined. Uh, William Hill Online in the States, uh, Caesars, iGaming, and a, uh, the profit share agreement. I think a, uh, you know, that is potentially worth combined a, uh, $8 billion. Uh, for which a, um, you know, the common bid price, if you strip out the UK and European assets, is a uh, is probably closer to a uh, to three billion. So we think a uh, we think you know a fair value on a takeout or a for full control of you know what is a, uh, a fantastically attractive opportunity, a, you know, once in a generation opportunity with US sports betting is a uh, you know is comfortably uh, above three pounds a share. Greg, how did William Hill's management find themselves in a position where they're being pushed around by Caesars and Caesars are basically saying, if you don't go with us and you go with Apollo, we're going to withdraw the agreement we have in the United States, which would put them in a really difficult spot. How do we end up here that Caesars are able to do this? Um, well, I think you'd probably go back uh, back in the day in 20, uh, 2018. This was a, a land grab for market access to uh, to the US, and we think the uh, the whip hand is often with the uh, uh, the ultimate license owner, which is a uh, which is the casinos. Uh, maybe a uh, their kind of sort of hardball tactics with regards to Apollo is a uh, is a way to keep the uh, the bid price down. Would. William Hill want to be part of Apollo? Like, what would that then look like for that company? Um, well, I think if you look at where the full value of this business is uh, and the real upside, the real value creation is in a uh, is in the U.S. And that would be with a uh, with a further tie up with what they've got with one of the preeminent brands in gambling in the United States, which is a uh, which is Caesar. So I think it's, it's difficult to see what Apollo really brings to the uh, to the party in that sense. If we think the value and the uh, yeah, the value creation, the upside is a uh, is on a uh, is on the U.S. opportunity. Greg, how big could the U.S. opportunity be? If you talk to, talk to people in the municipal market over in the States, they talk about the fact that states are going to have to accept sports gambling because it's going to be a huge revenue driver and they really need the money right now. So post-COVID, we're going to see a massive opening up of sports gambling in the United States. How, how much money could that be worth? Well, I think we're already in a position where, where shortly 40% of the US population will reside in states where sports betting has been legalised. Um, uh, we think their sports in particular uh, and the TV coverage is, a, uh, you know, is, is, is primed to be a, uh, to, 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 to be a big, a big market. You know, I think if you, if you just extrapolate the UK, uh, we're on a, a $20 billion market just for, a, uh, for sports betting alone on a 50-state basis. And arguably, a, uh, the spend per head in the US could exceed that of the UK, and that's before you bring in a uh, bringing up iGaming, 